Hi everyone, I'm back again. Evil Grand 93. Got another. I've got another update for you. Um, but I'm gonna get on with it because YouTube's being weird about my videos being over 15 minutes long. So um, I'll show you some of that I've been meaning to show for the past couple of updates, and I keep forgetting about it every time. And it's a Universal Monsters figure. It's another one of the Mummy. Um, you may remember in one of my other updates. So got a different mummy but um, yeah I wanted to get this one as well because it comes with these sarcophagus and it's pretty much all he comes with he you sit him in it and you've also got a lid to it and the way I normally pose him is with the lid half open like that so it looks like he's emerging but I thought it was pretty cool it's pretty heavy as well really heavy we've got some great detail gone into the sarcophagus lid and into the mummy himself it looks absolutely awesome. So um, I thought I'd show him off first because I've uh, been meaning to show him off for a while. Alright, so um, next is a book that I got. Well, not a book, a graphic novel. Well, yeah, it is a book, but uh, you know what I mean. And it's Deadpool vs. Carnage. Um, yeah, I couldn't help but pick this one up. Um, I do like Deadpool, not as much as everyone else does. I think he's a bit overrated and really a really annoying character but fun but um main reason why i got this is for carnage because he's one of my all-time favorite spider-man villains it probably i'd say my first favorite spider-man villain is electro but the second has to be carnage um i've always liked carnage even in spider-man cartoons it was always my favorite part uh favorite two-parter episode or was it a three-parter episode in the 90s cartoon with carnage so um yeah, I've not read this yet. I've read one chapter of it, but I need. But I'm gonna get round to watch uh, reading it. Next, I'll do the games, and um, this is one of the main reasons why I've not been doing a lot of updates this month, and it's because I've bought myself a PS4. So um, yeah, I brought Shadow of Mordor, which was one of the main reasons for getting a PS4. Really, um, yeah, it's a great game. Finish the story. Um, I'll say the ending is a bit, um, I don't know how to explain the ending, it's a bit, um, I don't know, it's felt like they just wanted to get the ending done with really fast, like, like they've had enough of making the game and just like, oh yeah, let's just do a short ending, but, um, really enjoyed it, if you like the Batman Arkham Asylum games, or Assassin's Creed, you absolutely love this, it's a blend of both. Next is Infamous Second Son. This is the game that I got with my PS4. Um, I've only played a little bit of it because I want to get Infamous 2 for the PlayStation 3. Because I've got Infamous 1 and completed it, which and it was okay. Um, need to get Infamous 2 and I played about half of this. And it was just alright. Um, I don't know if I like Delson better than Cole but I don't know it's pretty good anyway next I'll do the music the first one I've got is Motorhead Overkill uh, this is an amazing album really loved it um, I mainly got it for one song in, in particular Overkill um, yeah it's just a great song it sounds a lot like the Ace of Spades but um, yeah I, I really like it like this album Next is Slayer, Show No Mercy. It was their debut album, I believe, and um, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, but listening to this, though, uh, just their debut album, it sounds a lot like uh, Metallica's early stuff. But um, yeah, it's still awesome. Really like this album, actually. Love the cover to it as well. Next we have Slayer, God Hates Us All. Um, it's not the cover I was expecting when I bought it. I was expecting the white cover with the crucifixes around the outside but this one's pretty good anyway. Is it? Yeah it looks like Slayer burnt into a bible with loads of nails coming out of it with blood pouring out but again this is a great album like this um, especially God Send Death it's one of my all time favourite Slayer tracks. Um, I don't know why I feel like it's a really underrated um, track as well so yeah I like this one a lot and lastly for the music, 
have Slayer, Diabolus and Musica. I always forget his name of this album, but this one's alright. Um, I've only listened to it the once, though, so I'm definitely going to have to listen to it again. Uh, as you can see, I've been a bit Slayer mad recently, so um, yeah, it's awesome stuff. Any Slayer album's good to me, so. Right, on with the DVDs. Uh, we've got no Blu rays this time, just DVDs. The first is a three movie collection of the One Piece movies. Um, yeah, I pretty much liked all of these, really. I'd say the second one was my favourite one. Um, Adventure on the Spiral Island. Um, but yeah, they're all pretty good, pretty entertaining. What I did find surprising, though, it was um, released by the Manga Entertainment, or Stars Company, whatever you want to call them. But, um, yeah, they started releasing the series, and I've got two um, volumes of the series. And um, they had... English sub as well as the dub, but this only has the sub on these movies. Um, it says on the back that you can get it in English, but um, the option's not there to turn it to English, and I don't know about you, but I actually quite like One Piece in English dub, I don't know why. Um, I normally watch the subs, but um, just with One Piece I find that dub's a lot funnier. So, um, I don't know, it's not a big, not a big deal, but... Um, yeah, still pretty good anyway. I'll probably get a load of hate for that now, but oh well. Next is Frank and Weenie. Um, I love this one. I've been wanting to pick it up for a while. I've seen it loads of times on the telly and it just gets better for me. Um, I find it really sad as well, to be honest. Especially with um, with Sparky and all that business. I won't spoil it for anyone, but... Yeah, it's a, it's a good story. I quite like it. And I love the whole thing at the end as well. The ending's great. Next is 300, Rise of an Empire. Um, yeah, it's great fun. I love 300, so uh, I was always going to love the sequel to it. Great, gory fun. And uh, Eva Green in it. Damn, she's good looking in this, but great movie. And I'd love, I love the ending credits in this. With uh, Black Sabbath War Pigs, just great fun. Next is Pompeii. Um, yeah, this one was okay. It wasn't as good as I was hoping for it to be, but then again, I didn't have great hopes for it anyway, because uh, normally when they have films based on natural, true natural disasters like this, they're never going to be absolutely fantastic. But um, yeah, it was just okay. I don't really have to explain Pompeii. I think everyone pretty, know, pretty much knows about it. And lastly, for non-horrors, I managed to find this in HMV. It was the Breaking Bad box set, season 4, 5 and 6, or the final series, I should say, which is really handy because I was going to buy all these separately because I didn't think they did a box set like this because I picked up the series 1 to 3 box set for like 20 quid, but... Of course, this one's cost me a little bit more, 30 quid, so, um... And plus, it says on there it's a HMV exclusive, so I'm really glad I've picked this up. So, really handy. I've not seen them yet. I'm on Series 3 of the other ones, so, um... I won't open them until I finish Series 3. Right, on with the horrors. I've got... See No Evil 2. I'm a massive fan of the first movie. Really love the story on it with, um... Uh, I even liked... Kane in it as well, or Glenn Jacobs, I don't know what, what he likes to be called now, but um, yeah, I always known him as Kane, so yeah, the first one was great fun, and then so I really wanted to get this one, and uh, I have to admit, I was a little bit disappointed in it, but it's still great fun, great gory fun, um, you got, of course you've got Kane reprising his role as Jacob Goodnight in it, and you've also got the, the great screen queen, Catherine Isabel, so um, yeah, it's great fun. Oh, and Danielle Harris as well, lest I forget. Yeah, great, great fun. I like that one. Next is Wrong Turn Six, the last re uh, last resort. Um, yes, we have another Wrong Turn sequel, and no, it's not as bad as the last one, but it's still pretty shocking. And I was really surprised that. Um, they had Roxanne Pallet in this from, uh, what soap was she in? I think she was in Emmerdale, I think. But yeah, she's getting a kit off again like she did in 
Lake Placid 3, but it's okay, but you don't really see a lot of the the uh, Cannibal Brothers, but um, yeah, it's still fun. Next is Curtains. Um, I know that Synapse did the Blu-ray release, but I didn't know whether they was going to do a DVD release, so I wasn't originally going to get this until I uh, saw it on Amazon, so uh, I quickly snapped it up. And yeah, it's just okay. Um, I know a lot of people have mixed reviews on this, they really love it, either love it or hate it. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of in the middle really. I'd say it's okay, the kills were pretty good in it, but um seemed a little rushed. So, I don't know, I don't really know the history of curtains. I know it, all I know is it was hard to find for ages and now Synapse have released it again. Next is Hellbent. Um, I'd heard of this one before and like everyone knows it's pretty much a gay slasher movie but um, yeah I've wanted to watch it for a, a while a lot of people have said it was pretty good so um, yeah I picked it up and I thought it's alright um, I think a lot of people are put off by the whole gay slasher theme to it but because um, I didn't know what to think of it when I first started watching it I was like oh god what, what have I got myself into here but um, yeah, it's okay. It's a pretty fun one, so definitely check it out if you like your slasher movies anyway. Next is Wolf Cop. Again, I'll just pick this up for the front cover because the cover looks absolutely amazing. Um, the movie itself is okay. Um, that's all I'd say about it, really. It's just okay. If you like films like Hobo with a Shotgun or something like that, you'll probably enjoy this. It's just a fun quirky film don't take it too seriously well you can't really take it seriously with a name like Wolf Cop so yeah don't take it too seriously and you'll find it fun I did anyway and plus I love that front cover it's great and lastly for the video last and the worst release I've picked up worst film I've picked up The Spanish Chainsaw Massacre yeah I should have known not to pick it up by the title but Look at the artwork. Look at how gory that is. They, this movie has got nothing going for it. It's a really low budget movie and it's just shocking. It's meant I think they try to pass it off as like a black comedy sort of thing, but it doesn't really work. Um everything's over the top in it. Not over the top gore. Well, not if you know what I mean with these low budget movies, it's how can I a bit like the uh the goat man murders or I can't remember what this, uh, what the other t title it goes by, um, but that whole scene on the bus with all the blind people—that's what I mean when I say over the top gore with this. It's unnecessary and it wasn't really funny. So yeah, that'll probably be taken down to shop, traded in or something. I don't know. I probably won't keep that for long. And also, while I'm thinking about it, I've got this awesome Freddy Krueger T-shirt that I found. Oh, done. I don't know if you can see it. It says come out and play on it. I just thought that was pretty awesome. So I picked that up. So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing if you have. And I'll see you all later. Bye.